Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mom Impressions. Today we're looking at Biomutants. This is an open world, post-apocalyptic, kung fu fable RPG with a unique martial arts style combat system allowing you to mix melee, shooting, and mutant ability action. We'll be discussing what the game is, deep diving into some features and mechanics, and my overall thoughts on if I recommend it or not. Biomutant goes for $59.99 US and will be available on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. I played it on Steam. It was developed by Experiment 101 and published by THQ Nordic. As usual, if you're interested in watching the playthroughs of any game I review, including this one, then head on over to my Let's Play YouTube channel, Mobby vs. Games VOD, and follow me on Twitch to catch our live streams. All links are in the description. So, Biomutant is the first game to be developed by Experiment 101, who is a Swedish development company founded in 2015. The game was set to be a release originally around January, but was pushed to May 25th, 2021. You play as a mutant set in a world that has been completely abandoned by the human residents who left the planet because of pollution and war. It's set many, many years after, so much in fact that the world is vastly covered by overgrown vegetation. The chemicals spilled into the oceans and over time changed the DNA of many creatures unfortunately left in the wastelands of pollution left by humans. Out of all these mutants, you are the son and disciple of the Muma, an iconic mutant who fought for justice and was the creator of Wang Fu. Long story short, without spoiling too much more, you were exiled and now have to come back to your rightful place in this kingdom in order to destroy or unite the tribes that are now in war to control the fate of the planet. Story aside, which I think is very awesome, the gameplay has a lot to it. I'll briefly cover some of the mechanics, combat, movement, crafting, exploration, etc. When you create your mutant, you are stuck with a raccoon fox model and it cannot be changed. You can slightly mess with the model size and color and choose a starting class. These classes change up your skills and stats. As expected, you can focus on being a brawler, a tank, a gunner, skill specialist, and more. You can also allocate stats, which also include key regenerate, loot chance, and crit damage chance. You have a wide variety of equipment and skills to master. It plays like a traditional action RPG where defeating enemies and finishing quests net you experience points. Each level gives you more stats to allocate to skills and upgrades. There are many different ways to build your character. As I mentioned before, you can upgrade gun skills, magic skills, and even obtain completely new abilities and change up your combat and defensive style. You have access to consumables, which do a variety of things like heal your health and restore key during combat. But one of the coolest things I found is crafting. You can make new weapons and armor as well as alter them. As you go through the game, destroying enemies or looting treasure, you'll come across a lot of parts and materials, all of which are used to upgrade your equipment. There's a good amount of mixing and matching here, so those who like tinkering would find this to be a nice addition to the game. Now, with all that being said, I really like the idea of this game. Kind of being similar to Breath of the Wild, but more action-y, there's a lot here to be desired. Now, everything I'm about to go over from here on out is completely my opinion, and you can feel free to disagree, but this is just what I've been experiencing. I did play an earlier version of the game, so it might have had more bugs and polish to be implemented, but the game kind of feels hollow and maybe needed more development time. Now what do I mean by that? Throughout the time I've spent with Biomutant so far, and the expectations, the weights, and the price tag, I kinda expected more. The game feels like it's trying to have a lot of ideas and mechanics, and while most are implemented competently, it doesn't feel like there's a huge amount of depth to all of it. This kinda goes for almost all aspects of the game. From a narrative standpoint, I like the story of a mutant who has been away all this time to find his childhood village and mother's disciples all fighting a war and you can choose who to help, but it's the way that it's presented that really throws me off. All the dialogue in the game comes from a single narrator. This voice speaking English is all you'll hear besides gibberish coming from the mutant's mounts because they speak something else entirely. This was fine for the first couple of hours, but after a while, when new plots arise and tense moments happen, you don't really want to hear a third party narrator explaining emotional story beats. You'd rather hear that from the mutants themselves. 
all of that, unless you skip through the dialogue boxes, really adds up more time than is needed every time someone talks. They speak gibberish for a couple of seconds because mutants speak, then the narrator reads what's in the box. It really adds up over time, and there's a lot of talking going on, especially in the early parts of the game. Another thing story-wise that kind of seem off are the cutscenes and how they are paced. There are many empty walking around parts that are just so slow. Things that are explained to you that can be cut down and simplified, and just an overall feeling of lack of polish. Let's talk about the combat and your character progression. The combat is competent, but it's very frustrating at times. There's no manual lock-on for enemies, so you'll find yourself scurrying around trying to aim your gun and skills on them, only to have them whiff over the enemy and you fighting with the camera and mechanics rather than focusing on the danger at hand. It feels like the game is catered way more towards melee and guns than magic skills. There's a lack of impact when fighting and things feel very floaty. It's hard to describe, but just look at the gameplay and maybe you'll get a feel for it yourself. I described how you can progress in different ways, and while that is true, there's not a lot of depth to it. You can level up and allocate stats for health, melee, intellect, etc. While those are fine and basic, it's the upgrade to skills that are kind of a disappointment for me. There's not really a skill tree, but rather just lock skills behind level requirements. These skills themselves cannot be upgraded either, so you're incentivized to unlock more skills, but then they only give you four slots on your skill bar, so there's that. Each weapon type also has their own skills you can level up, as well as general skills, magic, and resistances. But it all just feels like it should be deeper than that. What I'm saying is that there's no reason to try hard to specialize into melee gunning or magic because they're not deep enough to be completely competent on their own and require a mix of skills instead. After looking through them all, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of play styles and they will all feel the same late game. Now I know I'm talking a lot of bad about Biomutants, but I'm just being honest with what I felt like while playing it. There are some awesome things I love, like the character models, they're, they're pretty sweet. And the fact that each weapon and armor is customized and their add-ons can actually be seen on your character is an amazing touch. Another thing I want to mention is exploration. It's, it's really basic starting off, and I know it gets a little faster later on with mounts and stuff, but the map is pretty bare in my opinion. There's too many invisible walls and areas blocked off where you just feel like you should be able to go there. The map in the menu is very detailed and they give you a double jump, but there's not really a lot to do in these environments besides getting to the next destination. There really needed to be a lot more treasure and reasons to explore. It's not a good feeling going out of your way to climb walls and buildings, only to find nothing and be stopped by invisible walls. Now, there are definitely some secrets here and there, but those are primarily in dungeon-like areas and are too far in between. Now, as a final recommendation, the price tag is crazy high for this. You expect a AAA game. And while Biomutants has the ambition for that, it feels like something that still needs cooking. All of the ideas are there, but there's just not enough depth on each one of its ingredients to truly say this is a great product. Honestly, Biomutants is average. It's nothing special, but it gets the job done. If what I've talked about still intrigues you about the game, then I implore you to watch more gameplay because the price tag is so high, I really want to be critical about this. This is about a 50-50 recommendation. Remember, all the footage you saw today was taken straight from my Let's Play channel where you can watch all of the Biomutant gameplay I've uploaded. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.